Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lone Ranger for the NES. In the last video, we looked for three pieces of a plate, and we found a Spanish treasure. Now, it's time to head further down south to see what else we can do. There's a town. We might as well go to it. And this is the town of El Paso, Texas. The sheriff, the gun shop, and the doctor's office, from top to bottom respectively, are on the west, not, not the west, the east side of the village. And if you talk to the sheriff, he'll tell you, hey masked man, I've heard many good things about you. Keep that in mind because we will have to be talking to him later. You also want to be very careful in the towns from this point on because there are going to be more enemies than ever just gunning at you. And it is possible to hit the female civilians. If that happens, you lose a few good bars of health that you will not want to lose. Also, when you go in the gun shop, You want to get the medium barreled guns. This lets you shoot a lot farther than with the short barreled. So you want to get those. Also, there's the doctor's office down there. But what's really worth mentioning is all the townspeople. Because as you talk to them, and hopefully try not to get stabbed with a knife in the process... You are strangers around here, aren't you? You'll find out that they're not really going to talk to you or give you much information. In the meantime and in between time, there are going to be several enemies that you can fight, and you might as well fight them for the money. Mm, I don't know. You actually want to talk to a few of the townspeople while you're here, because this actually advances the plot. Believe it or not. And I couldn't get away from that barrel in time. And I had no idea that, that my gun was empty. Let's go ahead and look at the bank. Yes, I want to hear what you have to say. Who are you? You got my attention long enough to say that. Again, townspeople, not that all wanting to help you at this point. She just asked if we're strangers. There's another guy with the gun over there. And I thought he was going to take two hits to, this, to defeat. He did not. And if you go in here, you can play poker. Hello there. You want to play cards with me? Yes, yes I do. I might as well show this off. How much is the wager? The lowest wager is one dollar. And the highest you can bet is ten. So use up and down on the D-pad to select your bet, to place your bet, and then press A. Which cards are you throwing away? Hmm, well, I've got... Two queens, so I don't want to toss those out. I may toss out the 4 and the Ace, though. So here's how this works. When you have the cursor on No, you can use left and right on the control pad to move from one card to another and change No to Draw. No means you're keeping the card. Draw means you're throwing it out. Up and down lets you choose between No and OK. Once you press A on OK, you'll draw. And I got nothing. Ooh, you only had high card and I had only one pair. You want to play again? Not really. So, if you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money in that card game pretty fast. But it is going to be luck based. So, not exactly the best way to make money, but a good one if you know what you're doing. 
He has no idea who we are. Let's go ahead and go to the next house, assuming there is a next house to go to. What are you doing here? I don't know. You tell me. The game's not being that helpful as far as that goes. It's not all together inherent as what I'm supposed to do. But honestly, you have to go to this town first and talk to people. How are you today? And yeah, we might as well go ahead and head elsewhere. And when you head further to the west, Tonto speaks. For some reason, townspeople seem to be scared of something. Ah. Good to know. And by going further to the east, the first town we'll hit is Albuquerque. Apparently we made that right turn in Albuquerque after all. And you want to be very careful here because it is possible to hit the female citizens and lose health from doing it. You don't want to do that. Because that is health that you will probably not want to lose. Let's go ahead and talk to the town people here. There is nothing I can tell you. Go ask the sheriff. You actually want a townsperson to tell you to go talk to the sheriff because, again, that advances the plot. You actually want that. Also, again, more enemies in the towns at this point in the game. And at this point, enemies will drop either 10 or $15. Meaning you can reach $1,000 really quickly. He's not going to help us. So, might as well go elsewhere. And make sure we load our gun every time it's empty, too, because that would help. There is nothing I can tell you. Go ask the sheriff. Of course, you're definitely going to tell me that. And I can easily t picture some of you telling me that. And I am glad that I got the medium-barreled guns as soon as possible. You want to get those. They are definitely worth the $200 because it allows you to... Take care of enemies from a much better distance. You will need it. And this guy throws TNT. But if you can defeat him, he drops a heart. Which can kind of help with the healing a little bit. So you want to keep your distance while taking him down. And we got even more guys with guns. And, of course, this guy's going to take two hits to the feet, because why not? As you can see, already, we're slowly getting loaded. And I keep thinking that enemies are going to hit me after I hit them. It takes some practice and some meddling around to, tell, to figure out which enemies take one hit to kill and others, which others take two. I don't think we've been in this house. Could be wrong. You're strangers around here, aren't you? Yes, yes, we are. And you are here all of a sudden. Some enemies will still drop $5. But others will drop by 10 or 15. And if we go into the hotel, we are told that we cannot stay at the hotel. I mean, it would have made for a good, cheaper alternative to the doctor. I would admit that. Also, 573. Let's go in this house. Is that man in the town your friend? Wh what man? Who? Who are you speaking about? I don't know. But anyway, we need to go back to this town. And we need to go talk to the sheriff. This time, the sheriff can do something for us, hopefully. In the last few days, 
I heard that three outlaws have been poking around about this town. I got injured trying to arrest them. Please, masked man, go get them for me. So our next destination is all the way to the south, as far south in this area as we can go. I'm not going to do that yet because there's still one more town that I want to show off and some more things that I want to show off. Here, not you. Yes, I'm wearing a mask and I'm wearing it for a reason. If I can figure out who says it, I will tell you which town this is. You are in Laredo. So we've covered a good amount of the south in quite a bit of time. There's a doctor there. We may or may not need the doctor. That guy drops $10. And if you go up to this building in the top left corner in the northwest corner of the town, you'll find a firing range. So you won't have to go all the way back to the very first area of the game in order to do the firing range and get money $50 at a time. As fun as it is, there's actually an easier, better way to get even more money in a quicker amount of time if you know what you're doing. And I'll explain that as we go further along. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm the Lone Ranger. Do I really need a reason? Also, excuse me for anybody who heard me belch there. Yeah, you want to be careful. You want to pay attention to where you're going because you never know when a bad guy will show up. There's a train station, but if we try to go to it, we'll find out that the train has not made it here yet. And that guy that we just ran into dropped $15. That's very good. Also, some of these enemies are going to move pretty quickly. And we have made a lot of money without even really trying. We didn't have to go to the firing range, although it would have been nice. And we didn't have to play a lot of poker either and risk losing as much money as we would like, or more money than we would like, rather, just to get the amount of money we want. I'm going to get back to... 30 whole clips worth of standard ammo that'll still put me at 548 and I can still do things I still want to load my gun just in case and yes she's asking about the man in the town what, what man she's talking about I honestly have no idea all right, we are pretty much done in this town as far as I am concerned. Um, there is a sheriff. Not a sheriff. Long time no see. I forgot to talk to you. There is a gun shop. There is a doctor. There is a train station. You somehow respawned. I keep forgetting that enemies respawn in the towns. If allowed to. And from here, I might as well go ahead and leave town. Now, all the way to the south, in that one path being blocked by the two bad guys, is a place where you can go. But before you can go, you're told to go there, you actually have to... No, that's not what you have to do. You don't go to the second town. You go back to the first one. You go back to El Paso, I believe. Is it El Paso? Yeah, it's El Paso. There's a bank here. There's a bank in one of the towns. And if I talk to the townspeople, I'm pretty sure I'll find out where it is. Or at least I'll get somebody who said that they robbed the bank. Spoiler alert, we get to find out what we do next. And if you get that music... That means you're going to find out that they robbed the bank. So, we have to go look for a bank. Obviously. And the bank's right here. We can now talk to the bank teller and find out what he has to say. I've never seen such horrible gunmen. 
I don't believe they stole all the money from this town. I hear they came from Walnut Grove, but Walnut Grove is a ghost town where nobody lives. Maybe that is where their hi that is their hideout. And Walnut Grove is all the way to the south and is guarded by enemies on the overworld map. There's no star telling you, hey, go here. You just kind of have to amble around and figure things out and figure out that you have to go over there. So, to recap, you go here first. You talk to the townspeople. You go to the town to the immediate west. You get told to talk to the sheriff. You come back here. You talk to the sheriff. He'll tell you that there are some outlaws poking about and you need to go after them. You c talk to the people in this town. They will tell you that they robbed the bank. The bank will be in the top center of this town. You talk to the teller. He'll tell you to go to Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove is as far south as you can go in this one particular area. It's the ghost town that's all by itself, is far away from everything else. And it's blocked by enemies on the overworld map path on both ends. Now, before we go over there, you can go to any of the other... What is it? Any of the other ghost towns. And you can actually fight enemies for money. You can go into the buildings. You can have gunfights with everyone on the, on the map in this one ghost town. There's really nothing in this ghost town in particular that, that you can do here that will benefit you other than just beating up enemies. And you want to be careful in your windows because enemies will pop out of them. Now, if you go in a building... Well, this particular one we don't need to go into yet. I don't think we're supposed to go into. Well, I'll show it off anyway. Because this actually does show off a new mechanic for the side scrolling stages. Stairs. What am I doing? Okay. If I can do this without getting hurt a whole lot, I can show it off. Stairs. You go up them just like you do in Castlevania. Just press up in front of a front of the stairs, and then you use a control pad to make your way up and down the stairs. Okay, he stopped firing for the moment. I can take care of him, and I can take care of him. And I do want to. Yep, I do want to take care of enemies however I can when I can and this guy will drop health so if you need health you can just come in here make your way to the upper floor and just beat up the guy who's as far left as you can go and you can take health from him and to go back into the door just press up in front of the door Lone Ranger will face it and you'll be back outside enemies around here will spawn at random so you want to be careful but if you know what you're doing, you can get 10 to $15 per enemy. And you can give yourself a much needed edge money and supply wise later in the game. I've usually been running around with 30 barrels worth, 30 clips worth of standard ammo and 10 of the silver. And the most you can have of either type of ammo, I want to say while I'm trying to pay attention and just concentrate here, is 50. Because of the speed at which I'm getting money, I can hit those caps pretty easily. I'm pretty sure the limit on TNT is also 50 sticks of that as well. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it could be 50. Um, 
Also found out the silver bullets, which I've used only for bosses so far. They pack a lot more punch and travel even farther, but they also do double damage as well. Also, don't even bother with the enemies in the windows. They just give you nothing. And if I could aim at you, that would be great. Can I grab the money? Thank you. Yeah, let's be careful as we do things around here. As I fire bullets when I don't want to. And thankfully, some of the faster enemies, you can more easily tell they take two hits to defeat. So that's the thing. Um, anything else that I can think of? Not really. But just going through the other two ghost towns near the more populated ones when you need to, that'll net you a lot more money that you can use to heal and buy ammo with. I mean, you'll be making... You'll, you'll still get a net gain out of it. And that's not where I want to be. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the first town. All right. Let us go ahead and spend some money on standard bullets. And as you can see, still got a little bit of a net gain just from me noodling around and shooting down all the enemies that I felt like shooting down in the ghost towns that are nearby. And we still have plenty of money left to heal up with, which is very good. And now that I know what to do, I am going to end this video so I can suit up for what is ahead. What I'm going to do between the end of this video and the beginning of the next one, I'm going to go into the ghost town. I'm going to load up on money, keep healing myself, and keep buying money when... Keep buying money. Keep buying bullets when needed. I want to get myself to the maximum. And I also want to give myself enough money for the rest of the game. Well, I wouldn't say the rest of the game, but basically a good amount of money. I want, like, maybe a few thousand. So in case I need to heal up or buy a whole bunch of bullets, I can do that. So, join me next time where I'm a little better prepared for what the game has yet to throw at me. When we go further down in the south, check out the ghost town that is there, and then go after those outlaws. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!